Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage and today I just wanted to show you a quick video on how to tighten your uh, serpentine belt on your M103 engine. Uh, this is a baby Benz, Mercedes 190E and there are a lot of other cars, uh, classic Benzes that have this type of amazing engine in line 6. So uh, th these engines don't have automatic belt tensioner so you have to periodically check your belt tension and tighten it as needed. All right, quick tip for the M103 engines. Um, so I'm also doing some maintenance on my baby Benz, my daily driver. I noticed the belt is a little bit loose on it right here, as you can see. Okay, so to tighten the belt, I mean, these are not the automatic tensioners. You have to actually, for every so often, you have to actually uh, re-tighten these. And to do that, this is where my ratchet is actually. There's a 19 millimeter bolt right there you have to loosen so I already loosen that and now I'm gonna grab a long extension with 13 millimeter bolt and install it onto this guy and I'm gonna keep tightening it uh, sometimes yeah this one looks to be in a good condition but sometimes if you know people don't know how to tighten these or how to uh, tighten the belts and all that and uh, they start tightening this guy and then they end up bending that tensioner rod and you know in my case hopefully this thing is good now, it appears to be that maybe it was replaced at some point. But just so you know, uh, if that tension rod is bent, you might not be able to tighten your be uh, belt. Because it might be just getting stripped as you're trying to tighten the belt. But, you know, just see for yourself how things are. And I would also recommend putting some ATF on that guy. That's what I'm going to do right now, just to keep things lubricated. So I have my ATF, and I'm going to drop some oil on there it's a good idea to actually go even deeper and kind of spread all the way down there that's what I might try to do and just let it sit for a little bit once you're ready start tightening your belt carefully clockwise to tighten it like I said make sure that bolt the 19 millimeter bolt gets um, loose before you tighten this tensioner rod. Just go slow. And I can already see a huge difference right here in the belt tensioner. So I'm gonna go a little more and we're almost done here. Let's check this out. Look at that. That's awesome, that's perfect. You don't want it too tight, you know, there still should be some kind of, you know, a little bit of uh, slack. And once you're done with that, go ahead, tighten your 19 millimeter bolt on your tensioner. This is the big ratchet that I'm using and a 19 millimeter socket on it. Also keep in mind that this, uh, some of my fan shroud piece is missing. Uh, that's how I've got the car, but I got it, you know, I'm gonna install it in the future. However, as of today, as you can see, it's missing. It's only this piece that's, of a, you know, here. But in your case, if you have the f entire fan shroud in a way, you might have to actually remove some of it, but it's not a huge deal to actually like remove some of it and just kind of move it out of the way so you create more space to get your socket in there and ratchet. But that's what I'm gonna do. So I got the ratchet in there just kind of uh, take your time be patient with it and uh, you'll get it done okay it's in between the water pump pulley and power steering pulley that's where that 19 millimeter bolt is there you go right here 19 millimeter bolt for the tensioner and just be careful you know there's plastic fan right here so don't break it German tight and we're good that's it get your socket and tool out of there of course if I can <laughs> there you go that is it my friends easy job while you're in here, since you're using automatic trans fluid, lubricate all of your moving parts, hood latch, hood hinges, all that good stuff.
maintenance is number one key. And I hope you liked this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.